Howdy Duty, my name is Susie and today I thought I would share with you this fantastic craft that I came across and it's essentially using regular tissue paper that you use for wrapping to transfer a photographic image right on to a candle like this and it's really amazing how this works and it's very easy. You're going to need some wax paper you're going to need some regular tissue paper. You're going to need some printer paper, letter size printer paper. You're going to need a blow dryer or a heat gun. You're going to need some candles, some scissors, pencil, and of course, your photographic images that are going to be on your computer. Mm -hmm. Now you can also use regular photographs, but you need to scan them into your computer in order to print them on the tissue paper. Now this is so simple, I don't know who thought of it, but whoever did is a genius because it works really fantastic. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to create your paper that you're going to use in your printer to actually transfer your image on here so that we can transfer it on to the candle. So a letter size regular white paper like this. And then you're going to need some tissue paper that's slightly larger than your piece of paper. So we want to take a piece of tissue that is going to be, I'll do it this way. So you want to cut out your tissue paper so it's about an inch all the way around, larger than your actual stock paper. And you're just going to cut off, I've just marked it with a little pencil, but you want to cut off those corners because we're going to fold this over. We're going to glue it onto our paper. Oh, I forgot to mention, we're also going to need a little bit of glue. And we're going to glue this on by folding it over, but first I'm gonna cut those corners. So basically you just wanna cut those corners off because what you wanna do is we're going to fold these edges all the way around like so. You wanna make sure it's nice and stretched. It's hard to do this in the air, but you're gonna fold over all those edges and glue them down. So just take your glue stick fold over those edges and try and keep your tissue paper as flat as possible if you find that the tissue paper is a little bit wrinkly just take an iron to it and flatten it out So just make sure that you've got these really nicely glued down because this is going to go into your printer, into the paper tray. Essentially, we've just created our transfer paper for our photographs. So that's all you need to do. If you're going to make a lot of these, and I have been making a lot of candles, I just made a whole bunch of these in advance. And I, I just took a heavy book and set it underneath just to keep it nice and smooth and wrinkle free. So you really want to make sure that that's glued down properly and none of the loose edges because this is going to go through your printer and you want to make sure that it doesn't get stuck. The next so thing you want to do is get your candle and it has to be a wax candle. What you want to do or what I did was I measured the height and the diameter of the candle. So, I just, so just take a regular piece of paper, wrap it around, mark it so you know the diameter, and mark it so that you know the height. And I know for making other candles, this is nine inches for the diameter, and it was five and a half inches for the height. Then I go to my computer, and I create a box of that size. So I that is going to be wrapping right around the candle and that gives me a guide so that I know where to position my photograph uh, based on how it's going to look on the candle. 
So create your photograph and place it within the frame and create your artwork around it the way that you would like it on the candle. Keeping in mind that you're going to be looking at the, if you've got a photograph of it, if it's an image of a person, you want to kind of keep it within one quarter of the center of your piece of paper because you know that that is approximately how much you're going to see once the candle is sitting. So in this case, I've got an image like this. So I was able to create my image and I was able to add some print to it. So I've got the name of the person and I know that that was going to fit the candle. So now I've got my artwork and my photograph positioned in my frame. In frame. You can add background, you can add letters, you can add words, names, etc. You can add anything essentially. Create your artwork within that frame and then you want to get ready to print. And in order to print your image, you're going to put your tissue paper side down. In my case, my printer indicates that the paper is to be side down. If you don't know which way your printer will print, just put a little X on uh, one of the sheets of paper in the tray, print it and see which side it comes out so that you know which side to put down. But I think generally speaking, it's face down. So I put my paper face down and I printed my image and I did use the uh, preference setting for the printer on lightweight paper. Turned out perfect. The other thing that I did with my artwork is I try to remove as much of the background um, photograph as I could on the computer so that I wasn't wasting ink because we're actually going to cut this out in order to attach it to the candle. So in this instance, I've designed, this is my sister Gigi and I'm making a candle for her. And I've designed it so that there is a label on the bottom of the candle and then I'm going to cut around in free form. So once you've printed out your image on your tissue paper transfer, now you can cut it out however you like because all we're going to use is the top tissue paper to adhere it to the candle. So in my case, I'm just going to cut the image out this way. And because you're uh, cutting it out free form, maybe you want to uh, take a look at how intricate your photograph actually is. So you want something that it makes sense to cut out and it's, and it's not that difficult. Now I also find that because I've created this border or I've created my square that the print is going to fit in, it also makes it really easy to cut nice even edges. And when I remove the back, this is actually your photographic, this is your transfer paper. Okay. So now I've got my transfer on my tissue paper and now I'm going to add this to my candle. So the next step is simply positioning the image onto the candle. So I'm positioning the image onto the candle and it fits perfectly. As you can see here, and Gigi is short for Margarita, but I thought with the band, it kind of looks like a fancy perfume name like Gigi. And this is where that extra little line comes in handy because it just finishes off the candle really nicely on the bottom. Candle. Oh, I forgot one very important part. We're also going to need an oven mitt. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to need a piece of wax paper. And now you've got your sheet of wax paper 
and you want the waxy side against the candle and a way to tell which side is waxy is just by using your nail and scratching it to see where the wax comes off. So I'm going to position my candle So you want to position your candle inside the wax paper and you're going to grab it from behind. So you've got your image inside the wax paper and you're going to need an oven mitt because it's going to get hot. And I've seen them uh, do this by using a heat gun. but a hot blow dryer does work. So you want to put your blow dryer on hot and high and you're going to hold it close to the image until the wax melts and the image transfers onto the candle. And you'll know that it transfers onto the candle because it's going to become see-through. So right now it's a bit opaque. I think you can kind of see how it's starting to melt. This does take a little bit of time, but it works great. So you can see how the image is becoming much, much brighter. Now, if you've, because my image goes all the way around the back, then what I did was I gently removed Look how fantastic that looks. Now, I've only adhered the front. The back is still loose, as you can see. So, what I did was I grabbed another piece of wax paper. Then I grabbed another piece of wax paper, and you want to do it the opposite direction. And we're only going to do it to mend. We're only going to do it enough to heat this part up. Oh, my glove. You can see how it's melted on. And there you go. And this is why I like doing the band because you can really make it look very nice and tailored. So that's Gigi's candle. That's all that there is to it. So as you can see, you can really let your imagination run wild. It's also great for Mother's Day, and my mother has passed, but I wanted a tribute candle, so I took an old photograph, and this is my mother and my father leaving the theater, and then I just added a little love story. And that becomes a nice tribute candle. I think Gigi is going to like that. And I've also got one, just a different variation. This is my other sister, Helena, the artiste. I should have added a paintbrush. And you can also use this on candles that are LED. Look. So this one I've made for my dear friend, Ruth, and she is an assisted living. So she can't really have, um, not a great idea to have the candles, but an LED candle works perfectly. So I've just done Ruth's photograph. I made it black and white. I did use some of my uh, graphics to create the image and I overlaid it over some flowers and I think it looks really nice and I think Ruth is going to really like this but your LED lights or your LED candles they must be real wax so this LED is a wax candle because again 
you need the wax to melt in order to secure your image. This is one of my favorite little candles. These are great. You can use monogram. You just have to look online for free clip art. And I was looking for clip art for uh, labels. So with the labels, I just downloaded the free clip art and then I added the initial, but they look great as little monogrammed candles. One word of advice, if you are doing a monogrammed candle where the letter is the same upside down and right side up, make sure you put it on the right way. This is actually upside down. It should be like that, but I don't think anybody will tell. And then for our furry little friends, it's Chester. And he gets a candle too. So these transfer candles are fantastic. Not only can you transfer photographs and capture memories on a candle, but you can also transfer messages. A little love note for Valentine's Day. Or in this case, the tribute candle just has a little love story, when they met, where they were. The year was 1947, so it makes it really special. And you can make these candles for any occasion, for someone's birthday, to celebrate an anniversary, to celebrate a graduation. As giveaway for wedding parties, you can do small votive candles with the bride and groom's initials or with the alphabet so your guests can pick their own candle. I think that there are so many different variations and I love this project. I loved how it turned out and I'm gonna have a lot of fun making a lot of candles. So for all those people that know me, you're gonna be getting one of these pretty soon. So grab your camera or your photo albums and start creating these beautiful candles I can't imagine anybody who wouldn't love to have a candle with a treasured memory captured in wax. They make beautiful gifts for any occasion. So if you try these and you like them, I hope that you share them. If you want to see more content, I hope you subscribe. Happy candle making. Smile.